Welcome to Mickett Stackhouse Studio. I'm Carol Mickett. And I'm Robert Stackhouse. And we wish you a happy Mother's Day. We are Creative Pinellas' Art Laureates. And this is our studio in Tarpon Springs, Florida, the northmost city of Pinellas County. We moved into this studio in January 2020. It enables us to work on large scale work, multiple projects, and store our archives. What you see on the walls are variations of ways of depicting water. We live on Pinellas County, we're surrounded by water, so it's a natural thing to be interested in. It's also very challenging to investigate ways of depicting water, both two-dimensionally as well as three-dimensionally. As we walk into our studio to the left, you'll start seeing photographs and this is our conference area. The images in the photographs represent commissions that we've had throughout the country. As we go up, we can see a large painting of the moon. She watches over us in here and grants us reflections. As we move into the body of our studio, you'll see paintbrushes and paints, and you'll also see lots of tables. These tables, we do drawings, we write on them, and we also do paintings. And they're all on wheels, so we can reconfigure the tables as we need. We also do paintings right on the walls. What you're looking at is a large watercolor painting called Currency, and it's a map. You can see the latitude and longitude, some of the city place names, and in the center is the dynamic of what goes on in the Gulf. This is also a wall. We use this large painting as a wall, and it goes into our loft area. You can see the ladder that goes up to the second floor, and here we store our archive. This was built by St. Kate Fine Arts, Thaddeus Root, and Desmond Clark. And as you can see, behind the painting, the wall, is a storage area with tools and canvas and stretchers and many, many other things. As we go back out into the studio, there's another shot of the studio. We're going to go to this larger painting. And as we do, we're going to go past paints that we have laid out, acrylics, all the colors that we can easily choose. And you can see there's little buckets that we put the paint in when we're working. Let me go out here and go over this painting, which is very important to us. This is called There Here, There slash Here, and it's about global and local responses. And the Gulf of Mexico is the blue, and the white area is the land around it. You can see the Yucatan Peninsula. The blue ribbons that are going off the canvas are the currents of the world's water. So they are depicting a global sense, and the Gulf of Mexico is, is a local sense. So this is about the troubled waters, about our troubled environment, in that uh, uh, the uh, water is, is gaining too much CO2, uh, it's getting too high, it's getting too toxic. And so you have the tarpon jumping out of the water. Uh, and what this does in this time of COVID-19, it shows that we're all connected, both locally and globally. As we move further into the studio here to the left, is a painting called an imbalance of fire. And it's also showing that the waters of the Gulf, of the Bay, and of all the oceans in the world are too hot. Of course, there isn't fire coming out of them, but there might as well be. Our goal, of course, is to have a balance, a balance so that our waters will not rise, our hurricanes will not intensify, and the life that lives in the water will flourish. Now here, 
I'm going to talk about these two paintings. As you can see, they have a rich green background and they have glimmering gold and silver trees. These are icons and they're meant to be honorific. We honor these two trees, the mangrove and the live oak, because they absorb large quantities of CO2, CO2 which traps heat in our water. The mangrove in particular, a mangrove forest will absorb more CO2 than the rainforest. These are prolific in Pinellas County. We want to cultivate them. We want more of them because they can help our lives and the rest of the lives in the environment. Now, if we go over here, here connected also with the idea of warm in the water is a thought experiment. How do we get rid of warmth in the water? Well, let's put some ice cubes in it. And they show different ways in which it could be distributed in the water. But it's a thought experiment because one is supposed to think about how one could do this, but also what would be the issues? What would be some of the consequences that maybe we would want to avoid? So we have over here a triptych that's called Structures of Water. And it involves uh, depicting water itself as well as utilizing some of the structures we built that involve you're walking into them as if you're walking into water. So there's the dynamic of the two elements coming here, both two-dimensional and three-dimensional. Up above are, are a memory of water and an idea of water, and it's a process of, of revisiting the way the water forms and has a certain dynamic. It's just really a lot of fun to paint. And here we are, back to where we started. And we thank you for coming to this tour of our studio. And we hope that in time, you will visit us in person. So happy Mother's Day, and we are family. Art on! Art on.